Um, I want to just follow up with what Senator uh, Johnson brought up. So I got elected as governor at the end of uh, 2010, and what I heard when I became governor of Florida is that the, the state agencies weren't providing information to uh, the, leg the state legislature. And, and, you know, just coming from the business world, I mean, we all relied on everybody having good information so we could make good decisions. We didn't think that one department was different than another department. We, we tried to share all the information so we could make good decisions. So what I told all the agencies is I said, if people ask you for information, I don't have anything to hide. If people disagree with what I'm doing, I mean, I'll, I'll tell them why I'm doing it, and I can defend why I'm doing it, but I'm going to give people good information. So one thing I found up here is, is I'm very disappointed how much administrations, because um, I've had dealt with two different administrations, don't give information out. I mean, it's ridiculous. We have the opportunity to get that information. We need to, and it shouldn't be whether it's Republican or Democrat, give us the information. We get to make the decision whether, what we do with it, but they shouldn't be hiding the information or, or making it difficult for us to, to, to do our job because we don't have enough information. So I, I, and, and when these nominees come in front of me, I ask them, you know, on top of other questions, two things. I mean, are you going to comply with the law? And are you going to, if I ask for information, are you going to give it to me? Of course, they all, you know, trying to get our votes, they all say yes. And so, I mean, so why wouldn't people give us this information? What, I mean, when they don't, what's your, what's your expectation? They're hiding something. I mean, how's that fair to us trying to do our job, each representative of our state? So I, I hope you'll take seriously what Senator Johnson brought up. And we, f we make these people give us the information. And I, don't, I mean, we'd all like everybody to do something perfect. But if they're not, maybe we can help them do their jobs better. But I, I think it's ridiculous that people don't give us information. Senator Scott, I, I couldn't uh, agree with you more. We absolutely have to have that information, and it uh, shouldn't matter if it's a Democratic or a Republican administration. Senator Hawley, in his comments, mentions the difficulties this committee had with the previous uh, administration, including a previous administration that ignored subpoenas uh, as well. Uh, that's uh, unacceptable, that, uh, and, and I'm committed to working with everybody on the committee and Senator Johnson. This is about the institution of the Senate and our ability to be able to to get information that we need to conduct our oversight. It's fundamental to this democracy, uh, this, this republic, uh, that we're able uh, to do that. So uh, I think we need to be thinking about this in a comprehensive way and think through how we actually get enforcement. Uh, and I'm, I'm sincere in saying that we need to work together, and I'm looking forward to working Let's with both of you. Quick. Yes. If they, so if somebody doesn't comply with the subpoena, what's our authority? What, what can we do? Because that's wrong. Yeah. Is there nothing we can do? Well, you can enforce in court, but the, that uh, we, we know how difficult that was from the previous administration, as you know. Mr. Senator Lewis, Johnson. Well, let me quick answer that question. That's the problem. We have no enforcement mechanism. So, again, I, I issued a subpoena. It wasn't complied with. But unless you can get the entire Senate to vote contempt against that individual and then get the Justice Department, oftentimes the same administration, to actually prosecute that individual, it, nothing happens. So, again... Administrations realize con congressional oversight has no teeth. So in this instance, what would be powerful, I think, right now, Mr. Chairman, is if, if maybe you and I get on a phone call. You know, one thing, by the way, one thing I did when I became chair and I started issuing oversight letters, you know, it's just kind of what ended up happening is the, the general attitude is you ask for the kitchen sink. It's just, you know, all rel you know millions of documents. The first thing I did with my staff said, no, I only want you to ask for what you're going to review. I don't want to go on huge fish, fishing expeditions. Target what you're asking for, okay, and only to the extent that you're going to look at it. I don't, I don't want box, lo box loads full of information nobody's ever going to look at, okay. I don't want, I want the administration agencies to actually be able to work and do their job as opposed to comply with just congressional oversight. But... Congressional oversight is important. So, again, I've always tried to, as best as possible, tailor my oversight request to only the information we need. In this case, for example, with the, the Fauci emails, they're already there. All they have to do is sell, send them to us unredacted, which is what they should do. And, again, if there's something to have to do with national security, I can't imagine there is, you know, make them available to us in the SCIF. So I would think it would be quite powerful is if you and I schedule a call with Director Collins or HHS Secretary Becerra, and we ask him, please do this. This is a bipartisan request. We don't necessarily have to ratchet up to a subpoena, but let's let them know on a bipartisan basis we are going to stand up for our congressional 
oversight responsibility and obligation and right. Again, we are, we are acting on behalf of the American public and the American public's right to know what's happening in government, what's happening in these administration agencies. The, the American people have a right to know what Anthony Fauci might have been funding when it came, comes to gain of function. They have the right to know to what extent CDC was working with teachers unions when they were producing their school reopening guidance. That issue is going to come up again now here in the fall. So, I mean, I'm happy to work with you if you want to get on a phone call and let these agencies know, no, this is a bipartisan request, and if you don't comply, we're just going to start ratcheting up the pressure on a bipartisan basis. That is the best way to reinstitute the power of Congress in terms of congressional oversight, which right now is, is very weak. I mean, I, I certainly felt it during my six years of chairmanship. I think all of us, when we put in our oversight requests, see Senator Ossoff is still here, chairman of, of the Perm Subcommittee Investigations. You're, you're witnessing it right now. You're experiencing it right now. It's very difficult to get information. That has to end. The American people have a right to know these things. And it's our responsibility to stand up for their right to know. So, again, I, I really would like to work with you. This is incredibly important, and there should be nothing partisan about this. Even though maybe the issues might be partisan, there's nothing partisan about Congress's ability and our responsibility to get this information the American people's public's right to know. Well, as I mentioned, I'm happy to work with you. I think we need to work as a committee uh, on this issue because this is a really big issue. Uh, it's not just about one specific request, uh, and I understand how important that is to you, but this is broader as well for repeated requests that we'll be making and in future Congresses and in future administrations. Uh, it's something that I've been frustrated about since I've been here, uh, and, and I'm willing to work with everybody on this uh, committee in a bipartisan way. Let's hope we can do this in a bipartisan way. Uh, as we've traditionally been able to work in a committee to do that. Uh, you mentioned some of the COVID-19 investigations. Ranking Member Portman and I are working uh, on that issue in particular. Uh, we need to find out what happened uh, uh, in the response effort, what was good, what was bad. You know, put it out for folks because we need to learn from that so that we can adopt best practices when it happens again, which inevitably it will happen, hopefully not for a long, long time. Uh, but we better be prepared for it. So uh, certainly uh, it's my commitment to work with, with uh, the entire committee. Ranking Member Portman. Chairman, yeah, I mean, this is a, a perennial issue. You know, it comes up constantly. And um, as you know, when I chaired PSI, same issue. When I was ranking on PSI, same issue. By the way, Obama administration as well, um, as the Trump administration, as well as uh, now the Biden administration, um, you all do have subpoena, subpoena authority, and we had to threaten it a number of times to get stuff, and sometimes that was successful. But um, I'm happy to join if you have such a call, if, if that's deemed as helpful. I will also say Senator Peters and I do have a number of letters in where we are also frustrated <laughs> uh, because we're trying to, you know, just get information and not make it partisan, and we can't get it either. So I assume you share the frustration, as I just heard a second ago. Absolutely. We're trying to get some of the, maybe not exactly the same information, but some of the same information on, the, on those general topics. So I appreciate your pushing it. Any other comments? Senator Scott. What if, 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 um, if we're going to ratchet this, this up, let's, if, it, if that's true, let's just, I mean, all of us, I think we all agree that our job is oversight. We're not, I mean, all we want is information. Let's, I mean, I'm, I'm happy. Let's all do a press conference and say these are the things. These are the things you've been asking for that you didn't get, and we can. I don't care what administration we talk about. I, I just want to do my job. I mean, I just and listen. If that's what it takes to get these people to do do their job, they just, they have an obligation to give us information for us to do our job. And I think it's ridiculous. It makes it very difficult for any of us. Senator Johnson, and I just want to add. This is Congress. Congress's ability to gain that information has just been degrading, probably for decades. It just gets weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker to the point where, again, administrations from both parties thumb their nose at, at the you know, Congresses of both parties. It, it doesn't make any difference. The, the administration just feels like they are completely immune from complying, even though, again, all the nominees come in here and they all say, oh, yes, we'll comply with oversight, we'll give you anything you need, and then they never do. So this is a moment to take a stand, and I think we, on a bipartisan basis, have to make that stand, or else, again, congressional oversight will just be, it'll continue to be a joke, and you just simply can't do anything. And that's just not, 
That's not fair to the American public. Seeing uh, no other comments, uh, this business meeting is now adjourned.